This is the second heaviest Burmese python ever caught in Florida. Her head was the size of a football. 215 pounds and 18 feet long. This is the largest snake we've ever captured. The flowing water course can be a remarkable sight. However, countless rivers around the world are marred by grisly discoveries. Inexplicable life forms lurking below, or mythical figures offering a rare sight. Hold on to see what happened when this man caught a massive snake crawling out of the river. Coiling itself around the large rodent. The green anaconda, renowned as the heaviest snake globally, can reach staggering lengths of up to 25 feet and weigh over 300 pounds. And this one here appeared to have caught its meal. Coiling itself around the large rodent. A capybara, the largest rodent weighing over 100 pounds, seemingly had entered its radar. With their lack of venom to immediately terminate it, the anaconda coiled itself around with its strong muscles. It strangled and strangled until the prey gave up. And then it's lunchtime, and this meal will last this serpent for months until the next feeding opportunity arises. Python Meal While taking a walk to the woods, this man found something that could give anyone the creeps. Resting on the foliage was a giant python with a huge bulging belly. No, it's not your regular Amazon monster, but these are the after effects of a hefty meal. Now this one is sorted for a week or so without any meal. Cool, right? After having a meal this size, these reptiles need a few hours to settle down in a secluded place. And interestingly, they are the most vulnerable after a large meal, as their movements have slowed down. Hybrid Croc. Yeah. This guy's just way too strong for even all of us. The National Geographic's Python Hunter team was called to the Sumar Prakarm Crocodile Farm in Bangkok to help with measuring a huge hybrid crocodile. The croc, bound with ropes, thrashed around to get free. Crocs can lunge themselves at 18 miles per hour, enough to grab unsuspecting prey. So one wrong move and you'll be gone. And I mean, look at the size of that thing. It's humongous. But thankfully, these professionals know their way around these reptiles. They managed to get the croc out of the water and finally measured it to be 16 feet, 5 inches. 16 feet, 5 inches. Whew. Incubating Python. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy, son. These guys went out on a nighttime exploration in Python Island, Tanzania, and stumbled upon something right out of a nature documentary. A python's nest with around 45 eggs. This is freaking crazy, son. <laughs> All right. And the mother was there incubating the eggs and protecting them from potential predators. The guy took the snake and eggs out of the nest and put them in a bag to take them somewhere safe, as they may cause danger to humans. Ginormous Anaconda Now, have a look at this gigantic anaconda that looks like the Godzilla of anacondas. This mammoth reptile was discovered by chance when construction workers were clearing debris in Brazil. The size of its head and the huge body was clear proof of its absolute giantess. Even though considered a very resilient species, a boating accident caused its unfortunate demise. The expedition crew took the reptile with them and will put it away somewhere safe. Bulky Being This guy was visiting a small estuary when he witnessed something unordinary, a creature lurking in the shallow water. With only a few glimpses in sight, he wasn't able to identify it. Many netizens speculated the presence of a river monster in the small creek, but all these claims were debunked when someone gave a more sane explanation. The being underwater was not one, but many manatees. Sorry, no humongous monster in there. It was their mating season, and during that time, they gather in a herd and come up to the shallow waters. Okanagan Lake Mystery. 
Captain Sergeant saw something strange in Okanagan Lake while he was enjoying his morning coffee. Out on a boat ride, a guy and his daughter encountered a weird thing in the middle of the Okanagan Lake. About this in your journal at school today? It appears to swim effortlessly from one side of the lake to the other, resembling a large aquatic animal. As they returned home, the moose was later spotted again near their house, showing off its swimming abilities. While everyone on the internet was sure it was the dragon-like monster Ogopogo, native to the Canadian lake. Then a wildlife expert, Pete Wise, explained that it might be a moose, as they are known to be comfortable swimmers and naturally buoyant. With no further proof on any of the claims, the entity remained unidentified. Snake versus Gator. Oh yeah. Heck yeah dude. This clip making rounds on the internet featured a one-of-a-kind face-off, an alligator and a snake. The snake slithered right in front of the alligator, completely ignoring its presence, until the gator jumped on the snake, letting it know who was the boss. Oh yeah. Heck yeah dude. Then it's all splashes and chaos. In the end, Gator won the confrontation and was seen enjoying its evening snack. We got it. Dude. Probably why he's like, it's about to be a swarm if he does it. And this wasn't an isolated occurrence. Have a look at this encounter between two of the most feared reptiles. Oh my God. The clueless water moccasin was on its way to the bushes when suddenly the lurking gator attacked from behind. Cue the splashes! And again, the gator walked away with its ego and belly swelled. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Giant King Cobra. Back in 2018, locals in an Indian village near Thurangtharapam were left shocked when they spotted a massive 15-foot King Cobra slithering around. They quickly called a local snake whisperer to the rescue. The guy sneaked up to where the king cobra was seen. He skillfully snatched up the cobra safely. Without hurting it or anyone else, and he didn't even flinch once. That's some serious talent right there. Once he got the snake under control, he took it away to a more snake-friendly spot. Python with horns. Pythons are possibly the most feared snakes, and they aren't even venomous. And you might think they are at a disadvantage for not having venom, but believe it or not, they simply don't need it. They just use their strong muscles to immobilize their prey, just like this python, who seemed to have hit the jackpot for a meal. Spotted near the Mara River, this serpent struggled to get its mouth too close around a gazelle. And the gazelle probably seems like a huge animal for a python, but have a look at the sheer size of this thing. Constricting its prey. Once the horned head of the animal is in, it's a smooth journey head. Afterwards, it will be in a food coma as its belly will be all swollen after devouring a whole buffet. Hidden snakes. <laughs> South Florida set on a mission to set the state free of unwanted guests. The Water Management District Python Elimination Program removed destructive snakes that hurt the Everglades. The workers were shocked when they found a python hiding underground in a sewer opening. One of the guys got its head and they pulled it out. <laughs> Estimated to be around seven feet long, the reptile was sure not expecting to be taken out of its home. Here's another similar incident where a giant snake was found hiding in the bushes somewhere in West Sumatra, Indonesia. <laughs> There were a bunch of people gathered around who wanted to look at the commotion. Snake wranglers were called in to put the serpent away. When they went in, they noticed a huge bulge in its belly. <laughs> indicating its recent meal. The snake wasn't ready to leave its haven, but the experts eventually managed to pull it out. 
monstrous catfish. Oh, putain. While out on a fishing expedition, a guy was expecting the usual catch, but the water threw him a literal curveball. As he felt a tug on his line, he instinctively reeled in. Just then, a black giant jumped out of the water and gave him the scare of his life. Now, the question is, what was that black thing? The man revealed that it was a giant black catfish, and he named it the Loch Ness Monster Catfish due to its gigantic size. Huge Snapping Turtle Look at the size of that thing. That's a Chicago River Snapper. Are you kidding me? Two kayakers' trips took an adventurous turn. While boating in the Chicago River, they stumbled upon a giant sitting on a rock. Upon closer inspection, they found it was a huge snapping turtle. Look at that beast. Hey, how you doing, guy? You look good. It just remained unmoved, showing off its classic attributes of being. You know, slow. One of the kayakers even named the animal Chonkosaurus. The clip left everyone stunned on the internet due to the size of that beastly reptile. Still, everyone was just glad to see the once toxic river restoring and thriving with life. Mekong Surprise Last year, a local fisherman in Cambodia made a record by catching a giant stingray. Weighing around 661 pounds and measuring 13 feet long in the Mekong River. This was the biggest freshwater fish that's ever been recorded. The locals nicknamed it the full moon due to its size. Scientists tagged the fish before releasing it back into the water. This discovery marked the finding of the world's largest freshwater fish, surpassing the previous record of a 660 pound stingray, again caught in the Mekong River. 661 pound giant freshwater stingray was caught, tagged, and released. Zeb Hogan, a fish biologist from the University of Nevada, known for his work on large freshwater fish species, highlighted the importance of monitoring and conserving freshwater ecosystems to protect biodiversity and ensure the survival of species like the giant stingray. Amazon River Monster The Amazon is filled with all kinds of river monsters and we all know the piranha is the most famous. But there's another, one of the biggest river monsters in the Amazon, called the Arapaima. <laughs> these two guys decided to venture deep into the Amazon and hope to catch one of these monsters for a close-up and personal encounter. And they managed to successfully catch the giant. Although Arapaima is a gentle fish, they can be very dangerous when they feel threatened. So, the guys approached cautiously, and after a little interaction, they let it go back into the water. Italian Catfish Back in June 2023, an Italian angler caught a colossal catfish in Po, Italy's longest river. After spending 40 minutes grappling with the over 9-foot-long fish, he was finally able to get a hold of it but he just practiced catch and release. After a few pictures, the massive fish was allowed to go back to its habitat. Although there were suggestions of preserving the fish in a museum, the decision to return it to the river was best for conservation efforts. The reason behind this catch's popularity was that many believe that this Italian fisherman might have set a new world record for the biggest catfish ever caught, but it was never confirmed. Cramped Pond If you think humans are the only ones who get stuck in traffic, then let me show you this pond cramped with fish. A small water body where a lot of black fish were cramped in. You are probably thinking about how they ended up like this. Such streams depend on the river flow so when the flow is low, these aquatic fish end up like this. Or something. These two guys from Finland captured another example of a cramped pond. These little fish have probably overpopulated the water. Normal in Finland. You wouldn't notice at first glance as these swimmers are camouflaged with the murky waters, but there are loads of them in there. 
They have taken the more the merrier a bit too far. Canadian Agopogo this day, no one has been able to explain what we saw moving here in the water. There is a legendary monster called the Agopogo that's said to live in Oconagon Lake in Canada. People describe it as looking like a snake with a bunch of humps and different animal heads like a horse, sheep, or crocodile. Here, this man seemed to have captured that mythical being swimming in the water. Slithering in the water showed its immense size. This day, no one has been able to explain what we saw moving here in the water. It is believed that when the European settlers first got to the area, the local indigenous folks warned them about the monster, meaning that this creature had been around way before it became a modern legend. Many people refused to believe in the existence of the legend, but these incomplete sightings had kept it alive all this time. Millipedes and River you're probably thinking these are just some twig-thin leaves floating on water. That is until you see them moving and slithering in the water. Creepy much? These are actually millipedes that has infested this Indonesian river. It got the attention of the locals with everyone speculating why they had unusually overgrown. That's because these murky waters provide the best conditions for them to flourish. Here, have a close-up of these long black worms. These sneaky crawlers are the perfect nightmare of any worm phobic. Snouted Mystery This bizarre video showed a strange creature found in a river in China that has left scientists scratching their heads. With an unnaturally big snout and body, this one sparked a lot of curiosity among the netizens, with everyone wondering what it could be. Everyone gave their theory. Some said it was probably a mutated alligator or dolphin, while others thought it could be an eel, as it's big and it looks a bit like it, but it was unlike anything we've seen before, which made it a real puzzle for scientists. Fish stream. Now, have a look at this stream of live fish. Yes, live! Recorded back in 2022 in the desert of Pakistan. This clip showed a very unpleasant scene. Countless fish flowing like a stream with very little to almost no water. Where they were coming from remained unknown. Many people on the internet said it was a sign of the times, but soon its cause surfaced. The unfortunate incident was the after effect of the overflowing rivers. The region is known to have suffered from severe natural disasters, but it's still pretty sad to see aquatic life suffer like this. Deer attack. In an intriguing display of natural behavior, a python in India was observed capturing a wild deer while it was drinking from a pond. The scene provided valuable insight into predator-prey dynamics in the wild. The deer suddenly got alerted with no danger in sight and went back to drinking water. Then the opportunistic python swiftly lunged at the poor animal, using its quick reflexes to coil around and successfully subdue and consume its prey. Such encounters shed light on the balance of ecosystems, where survival often depends on instinct, adaptation, and the pursuit of sustenance. Lake Prespa Monster We've seen the Loch Ness Monster of Scotland and the Canadian Ogopogo. Now get ready for a new monster in town, the Albanian Monster. Sighted back in 2022 in Prespa Lake in Albania, a strange thing was seen swimming in the water. Due to its eerie similarity to the infamous Loch Ness Monster, the locals believed it was Albania's version of the legend. But many people believed it was the periscope of a submarine. The two far-off possibilities are quite ridiculous. It seems people all over the world are just obsessed with the monster from ancient folklore. Crazy Frenzy
ever wondered what frenzied fish look like? Well, look no more. This guy took it upon himself to feed every single fish in that river, inducing fish madness, with every fish fighting to get a taste of the open buffet. Kind of heartwarming to see someone taking care of these little ones. Here, another guy was recorded feeding piranhas somewhere in Brazil. As soon as the food was dropped in the water, the hungry monsters went crazy as they chowed down the meal. The calm water doesn't mean they are gone, it simply means that they were waiting for another round. Food goes in, and their chaos begins. Singaporean Mystery A man decided to take a walk along the Geelang River in Singapore, but he was in for a bizarre sighting that left him and other onlookers scratching their heads. Swimming leisurely in the water was an odd life form. Its small, dark body with slithering tail and whiskers around its mouth was a complete anomaly. Many people speculated that it might be a catfish, while others thought of it as an unidentified new organism. What do you think of this one? Is it some juvenile catfish or something else? Sea Monster In this clip, a woman was standing by the pier with her small dog when suddenly, a large snake-like being emerged from the water and grabbed her dog. They were posing for a photo and were left shocked. Many viewers expressed skepticism about the video's authenticity in the comments, saying that the clip was made using CGI, while others thought it was the mythical sea snake from ancient times. Whether such entities still exist today remains uncertain. But we sure hope the unsettling scene captured in the video was nothing more than a product of computer animation. Let us know in the comments. Swimming Riddle A farmer was doing his routine work around the river when suddenly noticed something that didn't sit well with him. An unusual disruption started in the water. It started at one point and then started to spread all over. It seemed like someone was just below the surface. People surrounded the area trying to figure out its nature. But as the water concealed its features and body shape, identifying it was next to impossible. Suddenly, two huge blobs of grass appeared on the surface, shocking everyone. So these blobs of grass were the ones swimming on there causing a disturbance. Or could it be something completely else that tricked the onlookers? The question remained unsettled. Japanese Dragon In Japan, an odd sighting occurred when a clip captured what appeared to be a small dragon swimming in a rural mountain river. While the footage was brief, it stirred curiosity among the viewers. Many netizens dismissed it as a hoax, believing that the dragon was just a mythological being, too fantastical to be real. Dragons have been part of various civilizations' folklore for over a thousand years, and these enduring beliefs in dragons throughout history raise questions about the origins of such myths. Regardless of the truth behind these sightings, dragons continue to captivate imaginations worldwide. Aggressive Monster Out on a boating trip, this man encountered a thing that failed to come under any logical explanation. Just when he tried to capture some nature moments, the calm blue surface suddenly got disturbed. No one knew who caused this as the bothering buddy suddenly disappeared, leaving behind nothing but scary splashes and loud noise. The creature was thought to be some kind of sea monster, but soon its true identity was revealed. It was actually a manatee, also known as the sea cow. These huge-sized marine herbivores use this trick of loud splashes whenever they feel threatened. But no need to worry, guys. They don't harm humans. Orange Alligator Back in 2017, residents of South Carolina witnessed the emergence of an orange alligator raising intrigue and speculation among everyone. It's a beautiful looking animal, but it's definitely not a natural color for an alligator. Many theories surfaced. Some said that an overzealous Clemson Tigers fan slathered them with the team color, while others thought they could be albino alligators. 
But then experts came in with a more logical prospect. The orange hue potentially attributed to iron oxide from clay or mud reminiscent of rusty mud has garnered attention for its striking appearance. Some kind of environmental factor like algae, uh, maybe even some pollutant in the water. However, experts note that alligators shed their skin periodically, implying that the gator may revert to its typical gray-green shade within weeks to months. The occurrence sheds light on the influence of environmental factors on wildlife appearance, highlighting the adaptability and resilience of gators within their habitat. The Loch Ness Monster Who is something that you've never seen clearly, but still people adore it and believe in its existence? Well, that's Loch Ness Monster for you. This clip, recorded by a resident out on a morning stroll, featured something stranger loitering underwater. Its snake-like appearance was similar to Nessie's neck. And with the Loch Ness Monster popular in the region, he thought he'd just captured the ancient legend. But when experts analyzed the clip, they concluded that it might be an eel that is known to live in those waters. Although there are almost countless sightings of Nessie, in 2018, a photographer captured intriguing images on Loch Ness's surface, showing what appeared to be something spinning and rolling. A dedicated Nessie researcher for over 30 years found these pictures particularly captivating. The photos were released back in 2023 during intense Nessie hunting where drones and underwater microphones were used extensively. Even with technological advancements, the mystery surrounding these Loch Ness monster pictures remains unsolved. And it seems that the legend of the monster is here to stay. Underwater Sneaker Is this the easiest fishing method or the best way to get a jump scare? This man sitting near the river with only one piece of fish in hand seemed to be waiting for a fish to take its bait, and it looks like the smell of flesh has summoned a guest. A giant arapaima jumped out of the water and took the piece of meat right out of the guy's hand. Can't decide if it's cool or just wild. Here's another clip of bare hand fishing, and I think this little guy might be the coolest fisherman out there. Oh. Recorded in Texas, US, the video featured a guy showing the finger fishing technique, also known as noodling to the boys. When one of the boys attempted the technique, he instantly caught a fish as large as his arm using only his bare hands. Everyone got excited over his skill as he excitedly showed his catch to the camera. The young boy's impressive catch left the internet buzzing with amazement. Oh. <laughs> Hidden Turtle these guys exploring the barren made an odd discovery. As they dug the ground and took out the block of dried mud, a turtle was hiding underground from an unknown period. Well, you might think that someone had tried to bury the shell fellow alive, but no need to worry, guys, because these reptiles dig up burrows and hide to escape the scorching heat of the sun. And this one here was surely disturbed by these curious explorers, and that's why it started wiggling its limbs to warn the invaders who were digging up its home. Living Dead This guy seemed to realize a little late that fish need water to survive. And when he put the little swimmer back into the water, it remained unmoved and floating, giving the impression that it's probably done for. The guy tried to give it a little push, but still no move. And just when he thought it was probably over, the fish raced away, vanishing in a split second like poof it just put on the best show of being lifeless and didn't break character even for a second vampire fish inside the upper jaw out on the hunt in ghana jeremy wade caught a fish that looks like a cross between a vampire and fish it's their dagger-like teeth that make these elusive creatures resemble fictional dracula they have two openings in their upper jaw to accommodate their fangs. Usually lurking in the murky depths of rivers, they strike fear into the hearts of even the bravest. With their cryptic nature and lightning-fast attacks, they embody the terror of the unknown, capable of inflicting swift and lethal bites on unsuspecting prey. After interacting with the fish, he let it go back to its natural habitat, as he didn't want to become a part of its meal. 
This is one monster I wasn't expecting here, but this is a good sized Bayada. Chilean monster. <laughs> a group of friends was enjoying a trip to Lake Colico, Chile, renowned for housing a sea monster, when they heard someone screaming about a giant slithering in the water. And here it was moving beneath the water's surface and suddenly disappeared, leaving behind nothing but a trail just like a boat. This trail helped the onlookers to guess its size, which was assumed to be 10 meters in length. According to some people, it was blackish with brown spots on its back and had hard fins on its tail and head, just like a Godzilla. However, no one is still sure about its actual identification, making the Chilean monster an enigma to the world. River Creeper While fishing near a river in Japan, a man saw something very bizarre, defying all explanations. A black entity sitting creepily on a stone, and it seemed to be sneaking on him. Even from a distance, it looked harrowing. Not knowing what it was and what it wanted, he left the place immediately and shared the video online to the netizens' guests. What do you guys think of it? Frantic Eel This clip is the best example of first come, first served. These long, thin eels from New Zealand are waiting for their food to be served. And as soon as the caretaker put the food out, it was finally lunchtime for everyone. Whoa, whoa. The giant eels dart around in the water, grabbing snacks with lightning speed. Take a look at another clip of eels being fed. But this one is a lot calmer than the last. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a big bulge. This woman was out in Puka, trying to feed the long fin eels surrounding her, waiting for the food, and she offered it to them with the help of a spoon. It's surprising seeing these huge swimmers this calm. Either way, you wouldn't find me in this water. Love me now because they know I'm a feeder. Sand River. This video recently going viral depicted a rare event in Iraq where heavy rains transformed the typically hot and arid landscape. The footage captured in November 2015 showed a surreal sight, a river of ice balls and sand flowing through the scorching hot desert. The locals named it the Sand River. Fitting, right? Reports suggested that the river was caused by extreme weather disturbances in the Middle East, leading to extensive damage in Iraq, Egypt, Israel, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. Camo Octopus Octopus are known for their remarkable ability to camouflage themselves with anything and everything. This octopus here was captured showing off its unmatched strength. It changed its color from pale to beige, and that's not even it. It also changed its skin texture to mimic that of a rock, and all that in a split second. How extraordinary! No wonder they are the ultimate masters of disguise. This picture of a giant albino snake gathered a lot of attention on the internet, as everyone started assuming what might have happened to this man. But take it easy, guys. This man is perfectly fine. Initially, people mistook it for an albino python attempting to charge the man. But in reality, this colorless reptile was found in a backyard in Florida that upon closer inspection turned out to be an albino bow constrictor. This serpent was believed to be the largest one and was estimated to be around 9 feet long. Feeling threatened, the snake kept lunging upon its explorer. Help was called quickly, and the constrictor was sent to a rescue facility. Thankfully, no one was harmed during the unprecedented run-in. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.